Hello, welcome to today's episode of Seed Addicts. My name's Nicole and I'm addicted to seeds. Okay, so here's the story. So what happened was six days ago, I saw a post from uh, You Grow Row um, on her community tab about True Leaf Market having a 75% off their fall a grab bag of seeds. That's Chloe running around. Anyway, um, so if you don't follow You Grow Row, um, please do so. Amazing channel. So when I saw the post about the 75% off seeds, of course I had to go check it out. Um, and I had my order placed within minutes and two days ago it arrived. <laughs> so I've been waiting to film for two days. <sighs> the suspense is killing me because with their fall grab bag, they choose the seeds for you. So it's gonna be a selection that they choose of herbs, vegetables, fruits, and flowers. And so I have no idea what's in here. I have not placed any other seed orders until I see what's in here. It may be things I already have. It may be things I didn't even uh, want, okay? Um, maybe we'll give away some, or it could be everything I've ever dreamed of. Which, I mean, it seeds, of course. It could be everything I've ever dreamed of. Let's get into it. I've been yapping. Oh, it, sorry. Um, it's $29.95 for 40 packets of seeds, which I think is an amazing deal. So I have no idea if the sale's still going on. That would have been helpful to have that information ready before this video. And I didn't do that. So go to True Leaf Market their website and see if they're still having it. See if it's something you want. Let me concentrate before I cut off my finger. Okay. <laughs> uh, here we go. It's in a bag within a box. Okay. Oop, hold on. So many seeds in here. Chloe, honey, Chloe, go lay down. She's running circles in the house. She'll run in circles, just like she does outside. She does it in the house and she's real like anxious and oh, poor dog. Anyway, she's she's got issues, my poor baby. Um, I am not even gonna organize these. I'm not even gonna look at what the names are and we're just gonna, we're just gonna grab. We're gonna grab and I'm gonna tell you what it is. I already see the first one. It's arugula. I already have some arugula, but I could use some more. My arugula did great in my garden. All right. Arugula. Ooh. Okay, so the picture on the front is just going to be a generic picture of vegetables and flowers and things. Um, that arugula must have been special. Okay. Hopefully, oh, let's get organized. Okay, so it's written on the back of this one. This is organic chives. Nice. Next. Organic Waltham 29 broccoli. <laughs> I got lots of Waltham 29 broccoli, but that's okay. This is Bull's Blood Beets. Nice. I'm gonna actually try these this week while I'm on vacation, um, cause we have cooled off. Can I tell you, yesterday morning was 54 degrees. Same today, and I think tomorrow we're getting down to 53 degrees in the morning. It's gonna feel magical. Next, Crimson Sweet Watermelon. I have never grown this, and I think it was in one of my shopping carts. So, good thing I waited. This is oh, corn. Original eight row golden bantam, 70 days. Corn, stop it. Mustard, old fashioned. So old fashioned mustard. I'm gonna get so many things planted while I'm on vacation. It's already Wednesday, I will tell you. Monday and Tuesday, we had to run errands and do like go into the bank and I had to pick up my car because I got rear-ended in my neighborhood a couple weeks ago and my car just got out of the shop. It's been dramatic. Um, Chloe, what are you doing? Come here, come say hi. Come on, come say hi. Hi, doll. This is Chloe and she's crazy. Chloe's crazy. Yes, you are. You wanna go outside? All right, come on. I'm gonna put her back outside, hold on. Come on. Hello. Okay, here we go. And now she's gonna be out there barking, but that's fine. I can't handle the, the ugh. anyway, the rap tap tapping on the floor. Next. 
red Russian kale. I have wanted to try this. This is so, this is like Christmas. Can I tell you? All you seed addicts out there will probably understand. This is like freaking getting your stocking at Christmas and seeing what's in it. Okay. Next. Ooh, Tokyo long white bunching onion. Next. Ooh, black beauty zucchini. We're going to try this next year. I'm done. I am done battling all the issues I've had with zucchini and squash this year. I'm done. Uh, black beauty eggplant. Good deal. I needed some more seeds of these, so that's good. Straight eight cucumber. I think I already have some. I had no luck with cucumbers this year. Anyway, it's good to have. Good to have. Um, this is a uh, cantaloupe. Hail's best. I did try growing this. And I realized a couple weeks ago, I did have seedlings. They were doing fine. I realized a couple weeks ago they had disappeared and I didn't notice they were gone. Anyway, they're gone. Hail's best cantaloupe. It's good to have more of that. This is a pepper. Uh, oh, California Wonder. Sweet bell pepper. La Cienado Kale. Mm -hmm. Ooh, celery. Utah 5270 Tall Improved. That's actually the name of the celery. That is weird. It is 120 days. Best started in early spring or fall. Starting some celery. Um, Little Fingers Carrot. That's getting started. I really should start a pile. I'll do that later. A pile of what I'm going to start this week and what I'm not. Swiss Chard Ruby Red. That is getting started. So show. Uh, winter squash, Waltham butternut. I have lots of Waltham butternut. I might start a pile also for seeds I might give away. Okay. Um, this is a turnip called white egg. Cuteness. That's getting planted. Um, this is a tender green bush bean. I just planted a bunch of tender green uh, the other day. Uh, not many came up. Having a time. I am having a time with these beans. Tell you what they hate me that's fine okay um this is oh purple cone flower flowers purple cone flower i have trouble growing these from seed i think i need to put it in the freezer or something anyway i'm gonna put flowers over here um matador viking spinach well this is fun i've never heard of that one uh this is a winter squash waltham butternut Hold on, hold please. Didn't we just have a Waltham butternut? I got two Waltham butternuts. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, next. Charleston Wakefield cabbage. Starting that. Uh, broccoli sprouting green calabres. Calabres. Nice. Starting that. That's fun. This is a cabbage called Red Acre. I know I have this in one of my carts. I'm so excited. Okay, we're almost done. That makes me sad, but I'm still excited. Yay. Uh, this is a tomato, red cherry, and it says tons. Where is it? Tons of tomatoes. That's for next year. Uh, this is thyme, winter, winter time. Organic, 85 days. Winter. I guess that's the cultivar, winter. Uh, Genovese basil, lovely. Oh, another ruby red Swiss chard. Well, I don't like the doubles, but maybe literally they just grabbed. So, so I have two ruby reds and two Waltham butternuts. Uh, this is a lettuce, black seeded Simpson. I think I already have seeds, but I do like growing this one, so that's fine. And a summer bib lettuce. This is a uh, romaine lettuce, Paris Island cause, COS, organic. So get that planted. A uh, small sugar pumpkin, cuteness. Um, this is green arrow pea, more peas. This is so pea rich right now, Andrea. Easy peasy pea land, just got another pea, okay. Um, organic cayenne, long red thin pepper. Ooh, I haven't grown a cayenne in like 10 years. That's fantastic. So cayenne pepper. French breakfast radish, my most favorite radish of all time because I've had the best luck with it. I've only grown like three types of radish ever, but this one does the best. So it's my favorite. Nice. 
Golden Summer Crook Neck Squash, definitely for next year. Last, Summer Bib Lettuce. That is the third, that's the third double. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, well that's a wah wah ending for me. So three of them were doubles, but the rest, they're amazing. This is amazing. Okay, and one last thing that I did get that was not part of this, but in the mail, um, Bird, Birds and Blooms keeps wanting me to resubscribe to the magazine, and I'm not going to because I subscribed for years, maybe 10 years, and I really wasn't reading the magazines. I just like to see the cover when it arrived. Anyway, but they sent me a free packet of seeds because they really want me to subscribe. Um, this is a Shasta Daisy Black Eyed Susan Purple Coneflower Perennial Butterfly Garden Mix. Another free seed. Um, okay, so hold on. Overall, super pleased. Um, wouldn't have minded a couple more flowers, but that's okay. I'm kind of maybe I'm glad I got more vegetable than flowers because my husband always looks out there. He's like, "Oh, you're growing flowers. There's no food out there." You know, you know. I'm sure you've heard the same around your place too. But I like growing the flowers with my veg. Um, anyway, super excited. Lots of uh, lettuces, lots of cool weather things that I can start now. That's exciting. Um, only a few summer things for next year, so I can play with these right now. I don't know. Love it. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'm still addicted to seeds. I'm not ashamed of it. Okay. <laughs>